Good morning and welcome to the Memorial Morning Show, brought to you by the Memorial AV Club. Coming from you from our TV studio, I am Zavera. We are back to live, li live shows using our sh new streaming server. Memorial's annual talent showcase is on June, June 14th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. This free event will showcase singing, dancing, acting, and so much more. Come see the, the talent that Memorial has to offer. Now we go back, now we go to Studio B where we have information on our National Day. Hello, my name is Zoe. Today is National Lucky Penny Day on May 3rd, on May 23rd. National Lucky Penny Day uh, hopes you'll have a good luck all day long. Heads or tails, does it matter which side you find your penny? Years ago, a penny was able to buy something. Today, due to inflation, the penny does not buy much of anything. The metal value and cost of minting pennies exceed their face value. Many nations have stopped minting equivalent value coins and efforts are being made to end the routine use of pennies in several countries, including the United States. The United States' first issue was issued a one-cent coin produced by a private mint in 1787. Benjamin Franklin designed it. On one side it read, mind your business, and the other, we are one. This coin was made of 100% copper and was larger than today's penny. It came to be known as the Cent. However, the first penny struck in a uh, United States mint weren't produced until 1793, but they were also made of copper. See a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. Why are pennies <coughs> lucky? Well, at one time, meal, metals, including <coughs> copper, were precious materials. Finding a penny was a valuable find. Sometimes finding a penny had more to do with the daily battle between good and evil. Do you only pick up a penny if it's head side up? Superstitions carry on from generation to generation, and with some of them, the rule that says if you find a penny tail side up, you should flip it over and leave it head side up for the next lucky person to find. On a wedding day, they, there's also a saying that leads people to put a penny in the bride's shoe. It's, most, it's more likely to lead, the, lead to a blister than to bring good luck in that case. When you are out and about, look on the ground for pennies. It might be your lucky day. It is also National Taffy Day. May 23rd celebrates a mouth-watering confection on National Taffy Day. Taffy candy has been made and sold for many years and has become a favorite souvenir of vacationers. Saltwater taffy was invented in 1883 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Confectioners made this sweet treat using boiled sugar and butter. They stretch and pull the concoction until it is a chewy consistency that can be rolled and cut. The flavors range from buttery to tart to sweet. There are There is a flavor for everyone, and it seems like they introduce a new one each year, too. Taffy's colors, d colorful displays entice children and adults alike, and they have been doing so for generations. At one time, candy shops and pharma pharmacies sold penny candy, and taffy was one of the many tempting options we could choose from. However, those days are now long gone. With summer just around the corner, seasonal candy shops are stocking up with their latest, latest selections with so many flavors to choose from. It's often hard to decide which ones to pick. That's why they offer flavored swirl, flavor swirled together to help us narrow it down. But we're still enticed by the variety 
and colors. Now we go back to Studio A. Are you interested in building robots? Do you love Legos? Do you want to compete on a team where you can represent Memorial? Then this is for you. Mr. Landry is looking for 10 students who are interested in some serious robot competition. You will not only build a robot that will compete with other schools, but you will also present in front of judges. All members will be expected to work as a team, solve problems together, and present in front of an audience, a panel of judges, and the robot community. First meeting will be on June 5th. There will be a summer boot camp that you will be required to attend as well in August. Permission slips will be needed for all members. See Mr. Landry in room 243 for more information. The Fitchburg Police Department is offering a junior police academy, August 7th to 11th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Applications must be filled out by parents or legal guardians and returned by May 31st to Officer Figueroa. The junior police academy is a student-friendly, condensed version of a real police academy. See Officer Figueroa for more information. Now back to Studio B for the weather, sports, and more. Forecast will bring you sunny weather with a high of 71 and a low of 47. Tomorrow we will see a chance of rain with a high of 79 and a low of 45. Now for sports. Boys and girls track will be playing against... will be playing May 24th versus Gardner. Today we will bring you the mental health tip of the week from the Fisher. What is a coping skill? A coping skill is a tool you can use to help distract your mind from negative thoughts. It's something that you can use at a moment to help change your mindset. Being able to identify a few things in your life that you know will ease your stress. We have, we have coping skills worksheets in FISH to help you figure out what works for you. Some coping skills you can use including writing, journaling, exercise, medication, no, meditation, or listening to your favorite music surrounding yourself with positive people helps fish. Fish also has breathing whistles to help with anxiety and panic attacks. Just know everyone has something different that helps them and all that matters is that it makes you feel happy. And now to Jose who has a school news in Spanish. Es que ya pasó. Estoy viendo la rifa que puedes llamar también. Los estudiantes son una universidad de entrar a la rifa para hacer su trabajo de preparación. Para obtener boletos, está la, la rifa de dos maneras. Uno, trabaja activamente con el examen de casa por tres horas. Puedes obtener boletos adicionales por cada hora que estás trabajando activamente. Y dos, puedes conseguir boletos utilizando el papel de borrador proporcionado para planificar previamente tu escritura antes de servir en tu casilla de respuesta. He hecho un vistazo a los términos disponibles este año en el café. No back to Studio B. Some dates to remember. May 29th is Memorial Day, so there is no school that day. Don't talk about change. Lead it. On Wednesday, May 31st, Memorial will be hosting the Fitchburg Public Schools Generation Citizen Civics Day from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. This event, which will be on which will be in the library, will be hosting students from the middle school and the high school to hear how the, they, are, they are leading change to, on social issues such as school, school safety, safe roads, MCAS, and mental health. Some reminders from the office. Slides are open-toed shoes are not allowed to be worn in school. Hoods are not allowed to be worn in school either. Always have your agenda with you when you are walking the halls. Remember to check your X2 grade book often for updates on your grades and progress in your classes. That is all for today. Remember that you can watch the Memorial Morning Show on our new streaming server on our school information website, on FATV, or at oncast.cglandry.com every morning during school at 7.30 a.m. You can also catch old episodes on our YouTube channel. To find our YouTube channel, just do a YouTube search for Memorial Middle School Fitchburg or find the link on our school website. Thank you for watching and remember to watch again for all your school news. Have a great, a great Memorial Panther Day.